keep pushing my limits and all So I had my eyes first on creating an updated build for Wukong but, I have a change of heart when I saw what my Rhino can do. Now, I have posted a Rhino video in the past that allows you to gain 300k armor or more but, the amount of armor gained was not really credible as I have the corrupted buff on, so, it's time to redeem myself, it's time to show you that Rhino can really get that insane amount of armor or even 1 million ferrite armor, yes, I'm not kidding, that's possible and I will tell you how we did it, first, let's discuss about builds and setup. Now I'm using the same setup, I have of course my Rhino, and the Talos Bolt is to group enemies. Now many questioned me about using Talos Bolt is as a way of grouping enemies in the past, and they also suggest a couple of weapons like the Ferox which works just fine also. But in my opinion, Talos Bolt is way faster and much more reliable in terms of grouping the enemies together. One slide and you can vacuum a lot of enemies compared to Ferox that needs some time to group enemies. Now take note that this is for solo setup or if you don't have any specific frames to group enemies in your team. If you have a Nidas, Vorban or any frames that can group enemies, then it would be much better. It may be the same setup but my Rhino build has changed a lot. First, I would just like to say that this build is highly inefficient as you can see, I have no prime flow and only uses the base energy of Rhino and, I have blind rage on which makes the energy cost of each ability insanely high, in most cases, I can use the trick wherein I can get tons of armor only if I have full energy. However, this doesn't mean that this build is only for simulacrum, it's usable in any missions as one, you can gain tons of armor if you done the trick correctly, it would take long for enemies to chop 100k or more armors and that's enough time to regenerate your energy with the help of Xenurix energizing dash. Just be careful not to step on nullifier bubbles, or those corpus specialize units, or even those leech eximers, so yes. I did choose to have the three umbral mods, but you can choose not to have these three on. In fact, you can remove umbral vitality and replace it with any mods you like, and then you can replace steel charge with growing power. The choice is really yours, I just have these set up because I like the high armor and power strength that the three umbral mods give to Rhino, however. Be sure to have both Iron Shrapnel and Iron Clad Charge in your build as these two mods are the main ingredients to getting insane amount of armor. Lastly, this is not a 9 former build by the way. So what is the trick I'm talking about? Well, some don't know this yet so I will demonstrate it anyway. So the first thing you need to do is group the enemies with your Talos Boldis, and then, cast your first ability or charge towards those grouped enemies. The number of enemies hit by your charge ability will be the basis on how much armor you gain, which you can see in the upper right corner of your screen. Now, as you can see, there's a timer on your iron clad charge. That's your time limit to cast iron skin. When you cast iron skin within that time limit, you will have all those sweet armor buff which results to insane amount of armor. Now, if you take a look at your ability tab, you will see high amount of armor but, when the iron clad charge buff is gone, you will see that you only have 11k armor, don't worry, as the buff is still there, in fact, you can feel that as your ferrite armor will deplete much slower which you can see here. Now how do you gain 1 million armor with Rhino, he really can't do it alone, to make it short, you need someone that can buff either your power strength or armor. Now there's probably a bunch of those warframes like Oberon, Nidas, Valkyra and more but, in our cases we did arrive with 1 million armor mostly because we have Chroma's Vex armor, plus the armor you get from his Ice Elemental Ward. Now, me and my team did stop after we reached 1 million armor as we think that it's quite enough but, there's no denying that we can reach even more armor if we have a full team which can buff Rhino, this doesn't have any corrupted buff on just Gromer's Vex armor, just imagine what armor you'll gain if you have the corrupted buff, ok, before we head to the outro of this video, I would just like to thank the two members of the grind team for helping me with this video, thanks to Legana and Gary Swag for their help, seriously, 
I really love my community as not only does the members are very generous in giving me some stuff to help me out on my videos, but I also have helping hands like these too. I'm really thankful for you guys and I just hope that my videos will keep you entertained. Now the most recent sortie is Captain Vor and to tell you honestly, I just don't want to end this sortie at all, I just love to see how much armor I can get and, hitting 100k, 200k or even more armor is pretty easy with this setup. Now, I don't know if you can hit 1 million armor solo but if you can, then share it below. Post your highest armor gained with this setup and earn your bragging rights on the comment box below. So that's it, that's the super thick, and most tank build I have for Rhino right now. I hope you have learned something from this guide and find the video fun to watch. Thanks again for watching, before you leave, please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it, and, if this is your first time watching our videos and want to see more in the future, then you can join the grind team and subscribe to our channel. Just remember to turn on notifications to receive daily updates from this channel. Thank you again, squad leader signing off.